Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we are going to be checking out the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem Splinter and the Turtle Tots. Um, so I'm pretty excited about the fact that we're getting Turtle Tots figures. That's not a new concept. In fact, it's happened in many of the previous Ninja Turtles lines, but these look so fun. I always love the Turtle Tots figures. It is worth noting that the Turtle Tots figures are Target exclusives. Um, I was lucky enough to find these in store on their big Mutant Mayhem end caps. So hopefully they won't be too hard for everybody to find. Splinter is not exclusive to Target, but he's the only basic figure currently released that I haven't already reviewed in another video. So I thought he would fit in well with the Turtle Tots. So we're going to go ahead and check these guys out. So as you can see, the Tots come in two packs. You get Raph and Mikey in one pack, you get Leo and Donnie in the other pack there. All of them do come on the same style uh, Mutant Mayhem blister cards with that purple brick motif. They've got all four turtles from the movie uh, on the side of the blister bubble there. The only difference, of course, with the Turtle Tots, they've got this The Making of the Ninja only at Target. That's the exclusive logo that's going to be on Target's exclusive toys for this line. Rotating these around to the back side is pretty cool because the Turtle Tots have the same cross sell as the other basic figures with the inclusion of the Tots. And you can see that it's the artwork from the movie. Pretty cool stuff. And then they also have their own clip and collect bio cards down at the bottom of the card back there. And Splinter, since he's just one of the basic figures, you can see that his cross sell is different. It's just like all the other ones we've seen with his own clip and collect bio down there as well. Uh, rat dad slash sensei. <laughs> I love they actually wrote the word slash out. That's ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys opened up and we will get a closer look at the figures within. All right, let's go ahead and start things off with Master Splinter here. If I bring in the tape measure, you can see that he stands right at four inches tall. Of course, he's got a bit of a hunched back going on there. Um, but let's go ahead and bring in the turtles just so you can see how they scale with their father here. Um, he does stand shorter than each of those turtles. There we go, get the whole group here together. It's a cool looking little group right there. Look at that, we've got the family looking pretty cool. So yeah, brand new Master Splinter. Does stand a little bit shorter than the turtles. I like that, I think that works out really good. I'm just gonna keep knocking things over here. <laughs> Um, but again, it's a new look for Splinter. I'll tell you, Splinter seems to be one of those uh, characters who goes through a total change with every iteration of the brand. Like, he always looks different. And he's gone back and forth from, like, brown rat to gray rat to brown rat to gray rat. It's pretty crazy. So he's back to being a gray rat in this iteration. He is rocking glasses this time around. I guess he needs some help seeing, much like uh, his son Donatello in this iteration. I do like how his kimono that he's wearing there is like the same kind of maroon that we've seen on like vintage Splinter and stuff. Um, and then there's a tail here in the back that I definitely want to point out is always a thing that's kind of an issue with Splinter figures as well, where it just kind of hangs a little longer than his feet. So like, you definitely want to try to stick his feet outwards a little bit so that the tail will kind of work to also help keep him balanced when he's standing. But you're going to find that sometimes you're going to try to stand him up and that tail is going to get in the way. It does swivel. But otherwise, it's sculpted just kind of where it looks like it's curled, like it's laying on the ground right there like that. So there's going to be times where, like, he's going to be leaning sideways and stuff. You just got to kind of find the right way to stand him. The tail definitely gets in the way just a little bit there, which, like I said, uh, has come up a lot in the past with Splinter action figures. Kind of funny how that always works. Otherwise, the rest of the articulation, uh, he does have a swivel at the neck there. With that hunched back, it does kind of make his head kind of cock side to side there. The arms go outwards, forwards, and backwards. We got a swivel at the elbow, a bend at the elbow. We got a swivel at the wrist. There is nothing in the torso there. You can actually see that there's just like solid, like flat, smooth plastic underneath his arms in his shirt, which is actually kind of weird. <laughs> uh, the legs have hinge joints, so they can go forwards. You can turn them. They can go outwards there. Uh, and then you just have swivels uh, at the ankles there, and that is going to do it. Oh, look at that. We actually have hinge joints on the ankles for Master Splinter, something that we didn't have on the turtles there. That actually will help him stand a little bit there, especially with that tail. 
But, you know, pretty basic articulation and pretty much what we've come to expect out of these figures with this line. Now, those glasses there are plugged into the back of his ears and they are removable. So much like Donatello, you can pop those off. You can see just the little pegs there that'll go into the back of the ears. So this is what our Splinter looks like without the glasses. So I suppose you can always remove those if you want to. Again, I feel like these are going to be an accessory that get lost <laughs> down the road everybody's going to be looking for splinter's glasses now he does come with a few accessories first of all we do have his cane uh, which can be held in his hands you can see his hands are both sculpted so that they look like they're holding the top of the cane so that will actually help him stand as well this is really cool too because this particular cane looks a lot like the one from the vintage toy line you can see there's actually some paint deco on the wrap there and just like on the vintage toy it's a hidden sword look at that so you can remove the bottom part of the cane the blade is painted which is really cool so now master splinter can pull out a secret sword in case he needs to do battle as well really cool stuff and again it's straight from the vintage toy line really cool to see them incorporate that now along with that cane he also comes with his own sprue of weapons he's got the weapons rack there as well that you can use and these weapons, again, great stuff paying homage to the Vintage line where he's got a bow and some arrows. It's also interesting that he's got two more of his cane swords there just without the covers on them and these are unpainted versions and then a couple ninja stars there as well so if you want to arm him up even more he's got lots of extra accessories there. Okay, let's jump on over to the turtle tots. If I bring in the tape measure, you can see these guys are between two and two and a half inches tall. So they are pretty short, like here they are standing with their dad, looking pretty cool with them all together there. Uh, I bet he misses when they were little like that. <laughs> um, this is really funny because these are some goofy looking turtle tots. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. And again, we've seen the baby turtles in all the iterations and we've even had different figures of them over the years and they always change as well um these guys are funny like i really love this Raphael. he is a chonky boy look at that <laughs> he is bigger than the rest it is really really funny now the only articulation these guys get is we do have movement at the necks there you can see the arms can go up and down they also have hinges so they can go outwards and forwards. These guys do have a twist in the midsection, which is interesting. But as you can see, that does break up the sculpt of the shell in the middle there. So really interesting stuff. But then they've got nothing in their little stubby legs. So very minimal articulation. They do have removable accessories. You can see they've got practice accessories. So it looks like they're all made of wood there. So there's our Raphael. We've got tiny little Michelangelo. He's the smallest of the bunch there. Really cute. Look at that little round shell. He's got his little nunchucks there. Uh, Leonardo is also a bit smaller. He's skinnier than the rest as well. Um, the faces on these guys are just hilarious to me. And then there's Donatello, who, good grief. I mean, he's just adorable. And it must be the giant oversized glasses that make him look that way. But he is... <laughs> He's freaking cute, man. I love him. Uh, let's see. Are these glasses removable as well? I think they are. Because, look, they are just plugged into pegs on the side of his head. Look at that. So, there you go. If you want to remove Donnie's glasses, once again, you can take those off. Although, I don't know why you'd actually want to do that. Because I think he's kind of adorable with those glasses on. That actually... It's a lot of fun. These are fun. I like these. I'm really glad that they did these. Uh, really cool to get new versions of the uh, baby turtles or the toddler turtles or the turtle tots, whatever you want to call them. With that being said, it's comparison time because we got the turtle tots in the 2003 era and then we got the turtle tots again in the 2012 era. And crazy enough, during the Bay movies era, we got Raphael and Leonardo done as younger turtles. Only those two. They are ugly as all heck. <laughs> but still, I thought it'd be fun to put these in here with the new ones so you can see just how different every version of the toddler turtles has been over the years. 
And we can't go without a splinter comparison time, lining him up with all of the previous versions. Once again, I did one basic splinter figure from every era of Ninja Turtles. I know you could probably make the argument for the movie Splinter. I chose to leave him out since he's part of that original toy line. I still think this is a pretty cool lineup just to show you how different Splinter has looked over the years. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Mutant Mayhem Master Splinter and the Turtle Tots. I think these are all pretty fun. Uh, Master Splinter's redesign is cool. I like it fine. Like I said, he changes a lot. So I'm actually kind of excited to see Jackie Chan voice the character. I think that's pretty fun. Uh, the Turtle Tots are just fun. They're goofy, fun figures. Uh, as a reminder, those four are exclusive to Target, but Splinter's just a basic figure. So hopefully he will be showing up everywhere. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. And until next time, my friends.